Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight. I'm a galactic and intuitive astrologer and I have got an special passion and interest for the fixed stars within galactic astrology. So I want to talk today about another fixed star alignment that is coming up. Now, the second part or the second half of Gemini is going to be really busy. There are a lot of fixed stars in the sort of 17 to 29 degrees of Gemini and I already spoke about the Orion Stargate um, yesterday. So we have another alignment coming up on the 10th of June which is separate to Orion but there are connections here and I will explain all as I go through. But this is the fixed star Nihal and our sun is going to join or conjunct Nihal and therefore shining its light, empowering, enlightening the energy of this star which makes sort of the frequencies and the themes and the associations of that star more readily available for us on earth as this galactic energy is activated. So the connection with Orion is interesting because Nihal is in the Lepus constellation, the Lepus being the hare. And in the story, the hare, Lepus the hare, was being chased by Orion's dog, Canis, who, while Orion was out hunting. So instantly, you know, we, we need to look at the themes and the associations and the energies of the hare and that symbolism. But there's also something that came to mind, you know, we could see the hare as being the victim because the hare is being chased by the dog, you know, and, you know, we might assume that the dog is going to catch the hare and the hare will have a very unhappy ending. But in actual fact, you know, if we sort of twist it around and look at it from a different perspective, which really is very much sort of the Gemini energy, you know, the ability to see different sides, two sides, alternative sides to the story, you know, could we sort of consider that perhaps it's the hare that is actually running the show and leading the game and being the leader out in front, sort of stepping into new territory, being the way shower and bringing the dog and Orion in hot pursuit behind. That is certainly something to consider because certainly Nihal as a star energy is very much about guiding and inspiring others in a quite subtle um, not necessarily sort of bold or brushy way, but certainly, you know, there is cunning here. There is um, intelligence and the ability to perhaps see things from a different perspective. So we also have, if we think about the hare as an animal, you know, the hare is a very, very mystical creature. It's one that is very rarely seen and they tend to sort of spend a lot of time underground. So they have the ability to, you know, live very comfortably underground, but also come out um, you know, on top, onto the surface when when they need to. So again, you know, there's this sort of imagery of being able to straddle two planes, two dimensions, two worlds, two states of being. The hair is very, very fast, very strong, very nimble, very swift. And, you know, often if you are lucky enough to see a hair, it's only a fleeting glance because they are very quick and they will, um, the minute they sense any sort of risk or danger, they're off and they're hidden and that's it. You know, it was it was very fleeting. So again, there's a real sort of strong intuition and ability to tune into energy and frequency to sort of flag up when something might not be quite right or when something is, you know, um, potentially posing a threat or danger. So again, that energy is possibly going to be coming through with this Nihal activation. Um, the hair is very linked to the moon. We often see the moon gazing hair sort of depicted in artwork. The moon being very feminine, very magical, very mystical energy in herself. And so, you know, we have this divine feminine association. The hair is also linked to fertility, to rebirth, to fresh new beginnings. So again, you know, that is coming forward to sort of play its part in these times. There's also a strong link to magic, to Merlin, to spells. It is said that witches were able to sort of transfigure and shapeshift into hairs in some of the stories. 
and um you know manifestation gifts are very strong with hair energy so you know this is really magical this is really really special energy it is about sort of having that strength that speed and um, that ability to sort of tune into what's going on around you and sort of dodge out of the way if necessary being a messenger or, or being able to sort of straddle two different worlds two different states of being which feels very relevant for the times we are in there's also a real sense of, you know, something new being born, but also the manifestation. And I talked in my video about Orion yesterday about, you know, the power of our words and thoughts and our intentions and how, you know, if we can really get to grips with our power and what our creative potential, you know, we can start to use our words, thoughts and intentions in a very positive way that is going to really help us in our day to day lives, but also to bring in this new sort of way of being that we're all desperately sort of wishing to, to come online and to be born. So the the other thing that I found interesting, obviously Nihal, the activation, it Nihal lies within the um, Orion Stargate. Um, and I talked yesterday in the video about Orion, about the Orion light and the Orion light being sort of the much higher frequency, the much higher consciousness coming in to teach the Orions that there was another way that didn't have to involve polarity and all the pain and the separation and the division that that sort of created. Um, Merlin, um, as a character, as a frequency, sort of the wizard energy is very much associated with the Orion light. So I found that really interesting because it feels like you know in the sort of the noise and all the, the polarity and you know all the kind of energy that we are sort of navigating at the moment we have this sort of bright light of Nihal kind of shining in with this beautiful Merlin magical mystical energy almost like to show us that there is another way and for those who are ready and willing to listen you know it's going to be potentially quite strong and quite loud even amidst the noise of everything else that is going on so Nihal star seeds um are they well th th they are of course very sensitive and um, they are very intelligent because Nihal is within the Gemini constellation so we have this Gemini energy infusion coming through and um, we have um th there's a real sense of Nihal star seeds being here to make changes and to sort of change the world and the reality from the inside out so um with Nihal which is very sort of close to the blue ray you know there is a real strength a real sovereignty a real determination but it's quite gentle but in a sort of non-forceful way so the Nihal star seeds and that frequency is about sort of making the changes but doing it without having to be overtly aggressive or noisy or put yourself out there you know this energy can be quite subtle and quite discreet but very much um sure and and determined but certainly there's not a lot of fuss um, with sort of the Nihal frequency like we might um, see with other um, frequencies and other starseed alignments. But certainly sen sensitivity is the Nihal starseed superpower, the ability to tune in, to see what sort of lies beneath, to see the truth, to be able to see around the corners. Um, empathy, you know, is almost second nature. So being able to feel what other people are feeling and, you know, that gives them a real um, sort of, sometimes it, it's an advantage, but it can also be a hindrance because it be, can become overwhelming. But this is a very healing star and a very alchemical star. There's also a sense with star seeds that have links here. You know, they don't have any time or respect for anybody or anything that seeks to overpower them or to take advantage. Um, so, you know, they will stand up against that. But again, you know, it doesn't always have to be really noisy and aggressive. It can, It's just this kind of really strong, determined, but very um, peaceful, but forceful at the same time sort of way of being. 
Now, these star seeds have got a very sort of strong affinity with music, with sound. They're very creative, very loyal. Um, they are very much here to serve and they don't actually incarnate on Earth very often. They have got really strong gifts of transmutation so they can transcend some of the sort of lower vibrations and transmute the more toxic and dense energies with ease. And often, you know, they don't even realise that this is what they're doing. So they're here really to dismantle the system from the inside out. But as I said, quite um, discreetly, sort of in the background. And they can often feel like they don't fit in, like they are the lone wolf, the black sheep, um, you know, and it can sometimes feel if you've got strong Nihal um, alignments and connections in your chart, you can wonder, you know, how on earth you ended up where you are. Now, this um, star is also about sharing information, about bringing in new ideas, new approaches. And there's a real strong association as well with the voice, which is a very Gemini theme. So they are here to inspire and to lead others, but not, not by telling them what to do, but just by walking their walk, talking their talk, being in um, having integrity, being true to themselves and gradually over time becoming more and more sort of secure in who they are and being able to listen to their inner voice. So again, you know, this is a time for us to really, you know, be aware that there's some possible throat activations coming online here with this with this um, alignment, with this conjunction, you know, um, the ability to speak up and use your voice and speak out where perhaps you haven't felt you have been able to before. You might have been repressed. You might have even been censored. But again, you know, the, the, the voice is coming through really strongly with this activation. There's also um, the ability to be much more in tune with what is going on, as I said, to be able to sort of feel and see and sense beneath the surface. Um, channeling is often very strong when Nihal is activated. And, you know, this star is here to hold the space for us as we navigate these amazing, transformative, but quite challenging and chaotic energies. So Nihal is very much a star that is holding the light. It's bringing the light. Now, I wanted to talk um, about the Blu-ray frequency because this is very much aligned with Nihal. And I have spoken about this before. I will link to my video about the Blu-ray. I know a lot of people that follow me on this channel have got strong Blu-ray um, connections. But the Blu-ray isn't just restricted to Nihal. There are many stars in the chart that are associated with or linked to the Blu-ray. And, you know, we, we talk about a Blu-ray star seed that is effectively quite misleading because this is just a frequency that any star seed can connect to and be carrying through. But certainly, um, you know, with Blu-rays, there's very strong sensitivity and um, channeling abilities, creative abilities and um, the ability to transmute and to clear energies. And um, there is also um, sort of strong links to Lemuria, which is an ancient earth civilization and um, very 5D. There's links to Archangel Michael through Aldebaran. And of course, Michael being the protector, the angel who is here to clear, to cut cords, um, to bring faith, to give us courage to move through these times, to help us stand in our truth and to cut through the illusion, which just seems so, so relevant and apt and appropriate for what it is that we are going through. You know, when we think, um, if you've watched my video on Orion, this is all about you know, being able to have a different perspective and a different understanding and to release ourselves from sort of fixed ideas and beliefs and stories, you know, perhaps where we have been manipulated or programmed or conditioned. And, you know, again, as I said in my last video about Orion, you know, this is not just about the collective and what is being enforced upon us. This is about us at an individual level and starting to be able to see where perhaps we have created ideas and thoughts that actually aren't 
true or real, but we've become, because they're in our head and because we've created them, we believe them and we fix to them and we attach to them and then they become our reality. So, you know, a great time for really clearing out some lower density, some lower frequency for manifestation. But again, be really mindful of what you are thinking and talking about and where your intentions are being set and where your focus is going. Because, you know, as we move through this particular fixed star alignment, you know, manifestation is going to be really strong. So be careful, you know, what you wish for and make sure that, you know, if you are putting out intentions and thoughts that they are aligned with what it is that you want to bring in because you might just find that you get it and that it comes through really, really quickly. So I hope that has sort of been helpful to you. Um, if you have got um, planets or angles between, I would say, about um, 20, 8, 17 to 18 degrees um, up to 22 degrees of Gemini or Sagittarius, then you are likely to have this Nihal connection in your chart. So, you know, it's possible that you will resonate with a lot of the information that I have been sharing today. And um, obviously, you can have a look on the galacticastrochart.com calculator, which gives you the opportunity to put in your birth details and bring up your own galactic alignments. You'll be able to see quite easily if Nihal features in there. We tend to use a two degree orb with fixed stars. Um, so, you know, don't go too wide. But certainly, um, yeah, it can be really strong. And obviously, the, the closer the orb, the stronger the energy is likely to be. So, you know, make the most of this time. It is a very magical time um, and it's going to bring a lot of strength and wisdom um, and sovereignty through with it. So, um, you know, it's it's nice to know that we've got the support of these amazing galactic energies as we work through and of course, um, we have, because Nihal is at 20 degrees, it is in a square to Saturn currently. And again, I talked about this in the Orion um, perspective yesterday, but with Saturn and Pisces squaring these Gemini stars, it is, you know, a real sort of impetus and a catalyst to start to really learn the lessons that we need to learn and to start to master these energies um, because Saturn is about mastery and and being able to sort of start to bridge sort of the more spiritual aspects of ourselves and the more galactic aspects of ourselves with our day-to-day -day life. So again, you know, we do have Nihal activated by the sun once a year, but it is different this year because of the other aspects in the chart. So again, you know, we are being really encouraged to take this seriously at this time and to sort of really um, make the most of it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, I will, if I get the chance, be back with more um, sort of galactic information soon. But you can find out about my work and more about me at spiralbright.co.uk. And um, yeah, have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much.